dear students uh, continuing with our lecture series on bioorganic chemistry this is our 19th lecture and in the present lecture we will be discussing about enzyme catalyzed carboxylation and decarboxylation the uh, carboxylation uh, in case of uh, utilization of enzyme uh, can be done either by using carbon dioxide or by using bicarbonate and uh, on the basis of mechanism of the reaction it can be easily determined that which of these two carboxylating agents uh, is a substrate for a particular enzyme catalyzed reaction uh, the reaction of carbon dioxide uh, with water to give bicarbonate is a slow process so if carbon dioxide is put into enzyme catalyzed uh, carboxylation then the concentration approximately equal to its km value and sufficient enzyme is utilized to give a significant amount of product within a second so uh, this is how we can differentiate between carbon dioxide and bicarbonate as substrates for carboxylation so for example there are two possibilities of uh, carboxylation uh, one is uh, this a where uh, carbon dioxide is uh, being used as substrate and other is uh, possibility b where bicarbonate is used as the substrate for carboxylation in case of a the rate of the product formation starts rapidly and then it levels to a slow and steady state rate of the reaction when we are using carbon dioxide as a substrate so here the rate of reaction decreases as carbon dioxide is converted into bicarbonate because equilibrium of carbonate and bicarbonate will determine the steady state in this type of uh, reaction condition now if the rate of the product formation first increases and then levels at a faster steady state rate then the substrate is bicarbonate and in this case the rate of reaction increases as the carbon dioxide is converted into bicarbonate and equilibrium of carbonate uh, equilibrium of carbon dioxide and bicarbonate determines the steady state uh, during the conversion uh, or uh, during the carboxylation reaction so uh, on the basis of these two situations we can differentiate that whether carbon dioxide is being used as a substrate or bicarbonate is being used as a substrate uh, some of the examples of enzyme catalyzed carboxylation reactions uh, the uh, in some cases uh, as i have told you the carbon dioxide act as a substrate in others uh, bicarbonate act as a substrate so for example in this reaction where uh, phosphoenol pyruvate is uh, carboxylated to give us uh, oxaliacetate carbon dioxide can also be used as a substrate bicarbonate can also be used as a substrate when carbon dioxide is used as a substrate then in presence of adp and uh, phosphoenol pyruvate uh, carbokinase is used as an enzyme and manganese or magnesium ions they are used as cofactors for uh, the for this carboxylation so here uh, the dephosphorylation of phosphoenol pyruvate will take place adp will be converted into atp and carbon dioxide will add to the uh, uh, add to the phosphoenol pyruvate to give us oxaliacetate 
whereas when we are using bicarbonate as uh, substrate then phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase uh, will act as an enzyme and magnesium 2 plus ions they will act as uh, the cofactors for this conversion uh, to give us oxalacetate as the product uh, the mechanism for uh, carboxylation uh, in case of for this reaction where we are using pp carboxylase enzyme is that uh, bicarbonate act as a nucleophile and attacks the electrophilic uh, phosphorus group of phosphoenol pyruvate and uh, uh, breaking of this phosphorus oxygen bond takes place and bicarbonate will get attached to the phosphate group and we will get this type of intermediates and here this oxygen will be having negative charge this oxygen will also be having negative charge and these negative charges they are neutralized on the action with the cofactor uh, either manganese or magnesium ions so uh, uh, this metal ion they will neutralize the negative charge on this and because of this uh, the attack of this carbon carbon double bond as a nucleophile uh, will take place uh, on this carbon and uh, breaking of this carbon oxygen bond will take place and we will get carboxylated product and phosphate uh, ion will be eliminated to give us uh, the carboxylated So uh, mechanism uh, can be a stepwise mechanism uh, and uh, the evidence for the mechanism comes from isotopic labeling experiment which uh, were done during this reaction and uh, when this reaction is performed using uh, O18 water and uh, no O18 is incorporated in the product uh, which is formed during the reaction that is oxalacetate which indicates that carbon dioxide is utilized and not the bicarbonate so this uh, carbon dioxide when interacts uh, through stepwise mechanism this carbon dioxide is incorporated in the product and therefore which uh, the water which we are using which is having O18 uh, radioactive isotope then no O18 is incorporated in the product which clearly indicates that this carbon dioxide is involved in the uh, reaction and not the bicarbonate because if bicarbonate is involved then carbon dioxide will react with this water and we will have bicarbonate where one of the oxygen will be uh, O18 oxygen. So this is how we can prove that whether carbon dioxide is a substrate or bicarbonate is a substrate in a given enzyme catalyzed reaction. So if uh, the product is having uh, O18 incorporated in it then bicarbonate is uh, acting as a substrate and when there is no incorporation of O18 that means carbon dioxide is acting as a substrate. So this is how we can differentiate between the two mechanisms. Then uh, blood clotting is an example of uh, enzyme catalyzed carboxylation. So here uh, enzyme catalyzed carboxylation of pro proteins is uh, part of the process which help in blood clotting. So in blood clotting what happens is uh, that vitamin K1, this is vitamin K1 in the presence of enzyme vitamin K uh, reductase uh, gives us this product which is called as reduced vitamin K1. And this uh, reduced vitamin K1 uh, is responsible for carboxylation uh, in the presence of uh, enzyme vitamin K uh, carboxylase uh, it 
converts uh, the gamma glutamate residue uh, into gamma carboxy glutamate residue so here the carboxylation takes place at this carbon so glutamate residue is converted into uh, gamma carboxy glutamate residue through carboxylation reaction in the presence of carbon dioxide or oxygen in presence of vitamin k carboxylase and uh, during this reaction this reduced vitamin k1 is converted into vitamin k123 epoxide and uh, this gamma carboxy glutamate uh, residue which has been formed is now having two carboxylic acid groups which can bind to the calcium which is responsible for blood clotting so uh, the carboxylation of glutamate of blood clotting uh, proteins as i have told you uh, is uh, catalyzed uh, by the enzyme vitamin k carboxylase so here the process of blood clotting is like this so when uh, gamma glutamate through carboxylation has been formed this, this is a structure when there will be two carboxylic groups they will be present and this will have a coordination with the calcium uh, 2 plus ions and uh, these calcium 2 plus ions they interact with the phosphate groups present on the phospholipids uh, which are present on the membrane surface of the blood platelets or endothelial cells or vascular cells so therefore uh, the blood clotting proteins that is proteases to the cell surfaces they will be bound and blood clotting will be activated through blood clotting zymosine so this is how uh, blood clotting uh, will happen due to gamma glutamate uh, which is, which has been formed by carboxylation of the protein And then is uh, decarboxylation uh, decarboxylation uh, uh, is undergone by a substrate due to the formation of either carbon dioxide or a stabilized carbonyl or involvement in an elimination reaction so depending upon uh, the reaction conditions we will get a decarboxylated product and uh, most common substrates for decarboxylation reactions they are beta keto acids or alpha keto acids so uh, you can see over here these types of uh, acids they uh, undergo decarboxylation and carbon ion is formed and this carbon ion will abstract a proton and we will get a stable product and carbon dioxide is evolved during the reaction or uh, these types of substrates they may undergo elimination reactions uh, with the formation of carbon dioxide and unsaturated uh, stable products they are formed so uh, mechanism in case of beta keto acids is like this that uh, in the first step carbon dioxide is removed to give us this type of inulate and this enolate uh, is in equilibrium with a carbon ion which will abstract a proton uh, from the active site of the enzyme and we will get a stable product uh, or uh, uh, the cyclic mechanism uh, this is a stepwise mechanism or a cyclic concerted mechanism can also be there wherein uh, beta keto acid will transfer this proton to this oxygen with the elimination of carbon dioxide and we will get enols uh, as the product in addition to uh, removal of the carbon dioxide and these enol enolic forms they will get converted into more stable ketone forms then uh, uh, decarboxylation uh, can also be catalyzed by bases and the uh, most commonly used bases they are amines in case of enzyme catalyzed reactions so for example if uh, this is this type of 
group is present in the active site of the enzyme then this will react with beta keto acid to uh, form a shift phase at the beta keto position uh, the amine will interact with the carbonyl uh, group of uh, the beta keto acid and we will have this type of uh, covalent uh, enzyme substrate intermediate form during the reaction and uh, because of the creation of uh, positive charge on this nitrogen this uh, electron density will be attracted towards nitrogen this carbon will become electrophilic and that is why decarboxylation will be initiated and uh, due to this decarboxylation this will create a carbon carbon double bond at this place and we will have this type of intermediate and then this lone pair of electron is shifted to this place in presence of water and we will have this type of intermediate uh, which is again an, an enzyme substrate intermediate and then this will undergo hydrolysis with the removal of uh, the amine part which is present as an active site of the enzyme and we will get the product that is ketones they will be formed as the product and uh, amine uh, which is acting as an uh, as a catalyst will be generated by so this is how amine catalyzed decarboxylation of beta keto acids will take place in um, case of enzymatic reactions so one example of uh, decarboxylation of acetoacetic acid uh, to produce uh, acetone and carbon dioxide take place in presence of enzyme acetoacetate decarboxylase enzyme so here again the active site uh, is responsible for removal of this carbon dioxide from acetoacetic ester then some uh, decarboxylases uh, they utilize uh, metal ions as cofactors for these decarboxylases for example, uh, alpha acetoacetate decarboxylase, it uses uh, manganese uh, 2 plus ions as cofactors for uh, decarboxylation of S alpha acetolactate. So, here what happens is uh, the decarboxylation will lead to the formation of this enolate, which will be stabilized by the metal ions and then active site present on the uh, enzyme will act as an acid to uh, abstract this proton to uh, get convert this uh, enolate into acetone as the product and uh, the reaction proceeds with the inversion of configuration uh, in the overall uh, product form so if we start with uh, say S uh, substrate with S configuration we will get a product with R configuration so inversion of configuration takes place then uh, in some enzyme catalyzed decarboxylation reactions uh, the shift phase uh, mechanism uh, is involved uh, in such cases for example, 6 phosphogluconate uh, in presence of NAD, plus, uh, uh, which is converted into NADPH with the removal of uh, uh, proton from here uh, at the beta position, uh, uh, beta to the carboxylic acid. And we will get uh, this type of beta keto acids, and these beta keto acids they will uh, undergo stepwise uh, decarboxylation action in the first step uh, carbon dioxide will be removed and we will get this type of enolate and uh, this enolate will then abstract this proton by active site of the enzyme and uh, we will get uh, ribulose 5 phosphate as the product so overall uh, there will be decarboxylation of beta keto acids to ribulose 5 phosphates then another example is in case of uh, 
uh, terpenoids uh, the enzyme which is used for the, these types of decarboxylation reactions is mevalonate uh, diphosphate decarboxylase and uh, here uh, the uh, mevalonate uh, diphosphate is converted into isopentyl diphosphate uh, through uh, a carbocation so in the first step what happens is that uh, mevalonate diphosphate reacts with a molecule of ATP and uh, this uh, hydroxyl group is phosphorylated and we will get this type of uh, phosphorylated mevalonate diphosphate as the uh, intermediate and ATP will be converted into ADP and then uh, this uh, will undergo uh, dephosphorylation at this point to give us this type of carbocation and this carbocation because of the presence of positive charge on this carbon uh, this will undergo decarboxylation to generate a carbon carbon double bond at this place and this is how this mevalonate diphosphate will be converted into isopentyl diphosphate and a molecule of carbon dioxide will be removed from here and the phosphate group is removed at this place and overall mechanism is a carbocation mechanism in this place. Thank you very much.